If there was one thing that I could change in Destiny 2 right now, it would be power leveling. The way that it is, is just... I don't like it. I haven't liked it. I talked about this even in a previous chibi hour about power leveling and how I just don't like it. And it's not because... Oh, I have to work for something. I love doing that. Trying to get new weapons, new armor, uh, new exotics, experiencing new activities and trying to beat them and doing harder activities like the Grandmasters. I love things in Destiny. But the problem is, is power leveling is hindering a lot of that. And not only is it hindering me from doing stuff, but it's especially hindering any new players that are wanting to come back to Destiny. I've had friends who would, would love to come back to Destiny, but when they're introduced to, well, if you want to do the new dungeon, you got to do all this grinding stuff uh, for at least a couple weeks to try and get your light level to a certain point, they're instantly out. They don't want to do that. They don't want to invest tons of time into powering up their guardian for the 15th whatever time because that's how it is. And granted, Power leveling back in Destiny 1 was kind of justified on being the way it was because we had a whole year when a new expansion came out to level up, uh, like when Rise of Iron came out or uh, Taken King. But now it's not going to be like that. Because of sunsetting, we know it were, it's not going to be like that ever. Instead, every single season, so roughly uh, around every three months, we're going to see the power level go up, a new level to try and achieve. And that's okay. I'm not saying that we should get rid of power leveling in general. It's kind of like a uh, an RPG element of leveling up, but where it's more about our gear rather than a bar that we fill up and then get skill points. But I took the time to think about that too. It's like, why not do it like that? I don't know. I'll probably talk about that a little bit more later. but. The way power leveling is right now, and this is just how I feel. I'm not saying Bungie is doing this, but this is how I feel. That power leveling is there as a, well, this will make you play the game and invest time into our game just in case if you don't like certain things in our game. So you still did something. For example, if the new dungeon, and I don't like it, which I love it, if I didn't like it, I had to at least grind to get to that point. So I was giving the game a try first to then get to that point. That's how power leveling feels. Where power leveling is there as do this because we want you to play our game rather than, well, we got a new dungeon, so play that. When I want to play a game, I'm hoping that it's because I chose to and that I'm enjoying the game. I'm enjoying the experience. Power leveling... I'm not enjoying it. I'm not really enjoying going back and doing old content over and over and over every three months to get a number next to my character back up again to the max so that I can do this season's Grandmasters or this season's Trials and Iron Banner where I'm doing equal damage or this season's new content. I don't want to do it the way that it is. I'm not saying power leveling needs to be gone. I never looked at power leveling as end game. Nobody is going to go, wow, you achieved that level next to your name, especially now that we have the artifact. Now you have the artifact that increases your power level and on top of the gear score as well. People are more aligned going to be jealous on the things that you earn because that's what it's all about. When you earn pinnacles, exotics, legendary weapons with awesome rolls to it, amazing stats on armor, stuff like that. Building your character and making it amazing should be the, the time investment in the game, not the power leveling. Trying to choose the right mods on your armor to make some crazy, amazing, and fun ideas for your guardian for certain builds, that should be the focus. Fun, interesting, innovative things, not power leveling. It's not fun. Now, it's not going away. I know that they're not removing power level where it's just like everyone is just right at where they need to be 24-7. But I understand that originally we needed power leveling for the world's first raids. Listen, now that there's contest mode, there's no excuse anymore. Power leveling is honestly just shouldn't be there, to be honest, if it's the, like at least the way that it is, like I said, now. 
because we got contest mode. If you want to beat the new raid, it doesn't matter if you're at super high power level because you're hindered by a contest mode. And I kind of like that. It allows challenge to uh, the experience where you're at the same play level uh, or, you know, level in general as uh, the big time players who've been investing tons of time. I like that, but you still had to power level and you still had to spend weeks to level up and grind and hours and hours and hours of doing tedious things just to get to that point of the contest mode level first. And I just, like, again, I just don't enjoy that. And a lot of people don't. And I want to ensure that everyone's enjoying Destiny because I want more people to get into Destiny. And on top of that, I want people to actually want to do the new stuff in Destiny and learn more on what makes uh, a good build or a good setup of weapons or rolls to weapons. I still am asked by people, is this a good role? And it's normally from like my friends who haven't played that much and are spending more time power leveling to do the new stuff rather than understanding the game more with the weapons and such. Power leveling needs to go, at least the way that it is. So when I was talking about how they could do something different i said originally that why not just have power leveling where you can do whatever you want and one of the ideas that i had was where it, you would start with the powerful stuff and then you would have the pinnacle stuff but everywhere in the game you could get powerfuls and pinnacles but the objectives would be different tied to what it is Powerfuls for Crucible would be like three matches. A pinnacle would be maybe like 10 matches or killing a certain amount of guardians in, in the Crucible or getting enough objectives or something. Same thing goes for strikes and, and so on. Even things that haven't gotten any powerful or pinnacle things tied to it, like the daily uh, missions inside of the Vanguard strikes or the Vanguard section, stuff like that. But I thought of something way better than that. Way better than the previous idea that I had that still follows the same format of what I've been saying where it's more a lines of you playing the game and being rewarded with something that will help your power level by just playing the game. But on top of that, you're rewarded more on power leveling stuff if you're doing harder activities and or playing a lot of said activity. You're rewarded for your time and investment in the game. And it's not tied to engrams, it's not tied to armor drops, because that's the one thing that I've had issues. If you, for example, wanted a heavy weapon to, to bring up your power level, you better not do a Garden of Salvation, because there is no power weapons in that entire loot pool. Makes it a big issue on that raid, being a top-tier way of power leveling if you need certain types of things. So why not instead tie it to infusing something into something, but turn it into a material that levels our stuff up in its own way? Now, I know already a lot of people are like, oh great, another material? Hold on. This would replace the infusion cores entirely. And this won't be something that you can purchase. This would be something that you would have to earn. This would be a material that you could just go to your armor piece, your weapon, or whatever, and where that infusion tab was, was a little um, turn-in option, where you would use a material to bring it up another 10 levels every time it would consume this material. What would this material be? Well, I thought it would be a cool idea to bring back Motes of Light. Now, in Destiny 1, this was used where, at least the way that I remember it in the most recent form, was to level up your armor and weapons, because back then, if you wanted to use all the perks tied to a weapon, you had to turn in some uh, motes of light, or play with the weapon and gain XP, or turn in bounties to get those leveled up, so then you can unlock those perks. Well, why don't we bring back motes of light, but it's used to power up our power level. Motes of Light would be used for that instead. Imagine that a power level cap was increased. And you go through the campaign. And you get a Mote of Light every time you complete a mission. Or at least a chance. Then, if you were to go do strikes, every like three strikes you get another Mote of Light. And every time you did a dungeon, 
every encounter you would get a mode of light. And if you completed it, you got maybe like three or two. You would get more, depending on the difficulty of the activity. You could do patrol, do ten, five public events, and get one mode of light that way. You'd be able to do this, get a mode of light. You would be able to do that, get a mode of light. And those modes of light were essentially, think of it as 10 power levels each. And you would be able to put that to any piece of your armor or weapons that you would so choose. You didn't have to wait till you got a helmet to then be able to get your helmet up. You just infuse this material that you earned to get your power level up. And if Bungie was so afraid of, for example, people just holding on to tons and tons of motes of light before the next season or expansion, just wipe the motes of light every new season and expansion, where you have to go out and do it again. Everyone's on the same playing field. But again, I've said this already, power leveling needs to be removed as an end game goal. That it's just, you're playing the game. You're rewarded with something to get your power level up just by playing the game. So if I had a friend that just wanted to play the game, I'd be like, sure, what would you like to do? Well, I would like to get my power level up. Okay, what would you like to do? Because there's everything that we can do. It doesn't matter what it is. Granted, is there a certain weapon you would like? Is there a certain exotic that you would like to try and get? Why don't we just go do these activities to try and get that weapon and refresh it over and over, but we at least will also get your power level up because we're earning a certain material. Boom. That's why it would not be purchasable. You couldn't turn it in for anything else other than infusing your stuff. And it was a material you can keep getting by playing the game. Now, I know already people are having a lot of questions, and one of them that I did think about was, for example... What if you had a 750 item and the power level was at 1,100 at max? You'd need a lot of modes of light, right? Well, that's where this soft cap would have a new meaning. Normally, a soft cap would mean that you would be getting blues very, very easily. That would bring you to a certain power level inside of Destiny 2 now. So let's just take Season of Arrival as an example. The soft cap is 1,000. The power cap is 1,050, and the pinnacle is obviously 1,060. When it comes to the soft cap, if you had something that was like 750 or 900 or whatever, and the soft cap was technically 1,000 with seasonal arrivals, you would consume one mode of light, and boom, it's right at the soft cap instantly. It's not following the same format of 10 power levels every time. It only follows that when you're in the powerful grind of that item. Now you you get me? And then maybe when you get to the pinnacle grind, you need to use more motes. Maybe um, at 1050 to get to 1060, you're going to need to use two motes instead of just one to get up 10 levels. I don't know. And it would tell you the math on that when you go to infuse it as well. So no more infusion calculators like back then. Wouldn't that be a great idea? I feel like that would be perfect with the whole mindset of telling Bungie, hey, power leveling is not end game anymore. Make it more lines of where we're playing the game every new season and we're rewarded that way. Motes of Light would be dropping like crazy, but it would not stay in your inventory. It would go away by the end of the season. Maybe as an incentive of rewarding players who did grind for tons and tons of Motes of Light, maybe before the new season ends, or even just throughout the season, you have a vendor that would be willing to take those motes of light for tokens, or maybe for uh, other materials like weapon parts, or legendary shards, or glimmer. So then it's not completely wiped and feels like, well, that sucks that I had all this material and uh, I didn't really want to put it into anything. So that's what I'm mainly thinking about that why don't we just do something along those lines instead of trying to be like, well, let's hinder the experience, make it tedious just because. Because you have to get your power level up. Because power level is becoming pointless. It's not any 
importance like it would you would assume it would be anymore. If I'm at 1060, whoop de doo At least I'm going to be able to do the Grandmasters, and that's great. It's just to unlock things. It's just to be able to do the new stuff, the high-tier stuff. And the way that it is, it just doesn't work well. I don't like it. And if we're going to have contest mode on most things, including the world's first raid, why not just have power leveling be like this? Be like the way that I just said with the modes of light, where you earn it from just playing the game. I feel like if you would remove that weight on players' shoulders on power leveling a little bit, where it's more aligns, you just play the game, I feel like people would enjoy the game a lot more. Feel the freedom of the game a lot more. And be more interested on going out and grinding for new weapons and gear. And, of course, you wouldn't have to worry about putting a heavy weapon in Garden of Salvation anymore, ever. If you don't want to have a heavy weapon and you can't think of a good one, you wouldn't have to do that for the new raids. It wouldn't have to be an optimal way of power leveling anymore. Because you're going to get a mode of light anyways each encounter. That's at least how I view it. I know that that may make people go, well, that would be too easy. But again, think about it. Really, really think about it. Why? Why is that a bad thing? Because power leveling, as we all know it, is kind of pointless the way that it is. That it would be kind of nice to just have everyone on the same playing field, so then you can just play the game and in incentivize just playing it the way that you want to play. That's at least my thoughts. I want to know yours. Let me know if you agree or disagree and explain why. I really want to know. Like, do you think this is a great idea? And if you do, retweet it. I don't know. Share it to your friends. Uh, get it out there. Granted, I'm not always the smartest person, but I, I sometimes like to try. Because the bottom line is, I want everyone to enjoy Destiny. And I want Destiny to get better because I do love playing Destiny. And I've been trying to think of ways of ensuring that everyone's having a good time. So with that being said, I would like to know your thoughts. Leave it in the comments down below. Either way, you all have a chibi-tastic day, night, wherever you are. And thank you so much for listening. Chibi out.